The research is known as gain of function, and it involves altering a virus to make it more infectious so scientists can study how it spreads. The NIH and NIAID categorically has not funded gain of function research to be conducted in the Wuhan Institute but of Virology. We do support it in the U.S. We have 11 labs doing it. Because if this turns out to have been a leak from the lab, then we are all suddenly going to become aware that gain of function research puts humanity in jeopardy. Dr. Gucci. Who are you? Dr. Collins, U.S. National Institute of Disease. Funding to your lab has just been cut. Shut down immediately. Follow standard decontamination protocols. Two years of research wasted. I got bills to pay. This new strain, I can invent another vaccine, endless booster shots, and make millions. <laughs> <coughs> <coughs> Controversial gain-of-function research continues unabated. Lethal pandemics rage worldwide. A novel virus relentlessly mutates into grotesque proportions.
no amount of scientific research, vaccination, or medical therapy can abate the pandemic. Entire populations are decimated until a serendipitous sequence of events begin to curtail the global malevolence. Hmm. Wait a second. Hey, listen, you are not going to believe what just happened. In today's headlines, the global pandemic continues to rage on, but new studies seem to be yielding promising results in effectively warding off this virus. Scientists continue to analyze a new and unexpected defense mechanism. Breaking news today, we have just received confirmed footage of a potential defense solution to this war on humanity, which, believe it or not, contains a viral dance video that many are calling churning the ether. Let's roll the clip. A new study indicates that the intricate movements of this dance, which is proven to churn up the ether, to produce an effect on a person's magnetic field, is providing practitioners immediate defense against attacks from this aggressive strain. Hey, batter, batter, hey, batter. So in the year 2030, gain-of-function research is finally defeated by the united will and spirit of citizens banding together in lockstep against the threats on humanity.